Hey guys, the OnLap 1302 is a smart monitor, an auxiliary monitor for your laptop or for your smartphone. Let's go take a look. So first, let's take a look and see what comes with the OnLap Smart Monitor. This is the 13.3 inch version, and uh, it's 16.9. I've already opened it up a little bit because, well, honestly, it's uh, a little bit interesting. We'll go ahead and take a look at it. Got some nice fingerprints on there for you. But overall, very nice, very smooth. It looks essentially like a huge tablet, but without any battery in it. This funky little space down here, I'll show you what that's for in just a minute. And this really, really stiff hinge right there. Now, there's a mounting bracket that you actually take and you put on your laptop. And on the back of your laptop screen, essentially this slides down into it, locks in place, and then it pivots open. And now you've got a secondary monitor right there on your laptop. Really, really kind of cool. But, uh, you know, where's the, uh, the power plug and stuff? That, that comes with this. Well, that's where things get interesting. Okay, you see that little guy right there? There are some, put that down and out of the way. There are some connectors that come with this. They're right down in here. Move that out of the way too. So you can see I haven't even unboxed this yet. Go ahead and open this one up. And right here is a little connector that plugs into that funky little port and then an HDMI cable and a USB cable or well, USB. That's kind of interesting. Let's open up the other one. And this one is, well, the same type of connector that goes into the back of that monitor. And then a standard monitor port, not DVI, and then another USB connector. So what's going on with this USB? That's how it's getting power. That's how it's powering up the monitor. But if it does that, then really can't we just turn this into a big screen for our smartphones? You bet we can. Let's go get some hardware. So let's see how this whole setup goes together. First of all, off camera, I've got my powered USB plug plugged in. I've got the OnLap monitor plugged into that to get power. And you can see down here, uh, maybe you can see it down here. My power is on. There's a little amber indicator light. I also have my USB cable that I'm now going to plug into my Samsung branded HDMI adapter. So we're going to plug that in. That adapter is now powered up and it's ready to go. Next, I'm going to take the HDMI cable from the monitor, plug it into the adapter, and that's good to go. And last, I'm going to plug this into my Galaxy Nexus. And that's good. Now, if we take a look right here on the screen, in just a minute, it's gonna go through an auto detect and it's detected DVI at 640 by 480. That's not the high definition that can be cranked out over the, uh, the Galaxy Nexus right here, but it's probably the best that you're gonna get. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll up and down and you can see I've got some jumpiness. It kind of goes away when, um, you know, when we're not looking at stuff on the screen. That's kind of a little bit of a bug with the YouTube player. So don't, don't pay too much mind to that. Let's go ahead and see how it looks. Let's search for Pocket Now and uh, see if we can find a good video to play. So here I've got the Pocket Now MWC bloopers video. Let's go ahead and launch that. Takes just a minute to stream. We'll turn our audio up. Now you'll notice it's playing really good. Screen looks a little bit crisper, cleaner, truer colors down here on the, uh, the Galaxy Nexus as compared to the OnLap. But that's really not a big deal if you're not comparing them side by side. But you'll notice there's no audio. I've got this thing all the way cranked up to the max. There's no sound. Well, there is. The sound is going out through the HDMI, but the monitor doesn't have any speakers, so I can't hear anything. Not a problem. One extra part, and that is speakers. Go ahead and plug those in, and now you can hear it. In this case, I've just plugged in some headphones. So I've got my little earbuds right there. This could be, you know, desktop uh, speakers. It could be whatever. Now I'd recommend that you go with a USB connected or USB powered speaker. So you can just plug that into your USB hub. That way you only have to have one plug to, uh, to worry about and it'll work great. So 
Now you can see if I'm showing off videos, YouTube, Netflix, um, Google Play, you know, whatever, I can view it very nice down here on my monitor, or rather on my phone, but if I want to share it with friends, it's so much nicer to share this on a much bigger screen. And it's relatively easy to do once you've got all the right connectors and have everything kind of plugged in the right way. But now you know how to do that. Now the OnLap is a 13.3 inch diagonal monitor. It has a 16 by nine resolution to it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off because it's a little distracting, the audio at least. Like I said, the colors are not quite as crisp or true as they are down here on the phone. We could tweak with brightness a little bit to, uh, to see if we could bring that down. But overall, it looks fabulous. It looks absolutely fabulous there on the screen. Now, this is something that you could very easily put into a backpack, take with you uh, camping, take with you, uh, you know, on family outings or whatnot. And of course, you can also plug this into your laptop as an auxiliary monitor there and do a dual uh, monitor configuration, which I think is, is probably its true intent. So let's talk prices. USB cable came with your smartphone. No problem, no price there. Your powered USB hub like I've got off camera is going to run you anywhere from five to probably around 20 bucks, depending on how many ports you get. This little adapter here, this is Samsung branded. It's going to run you anywhere from about 15 to $30, depending on where you get it and the, uh, the packaging that you get. This was the retail packaging, so it was closer to 30 bucks. Uh, the ones that aren't in retail packaging, uh, that are in OEM packaging, are closer to, uh, to 15 or $18 plus shipping. So, the monitor now. The monitor comes with the stand, it comes with the connectors, it comes with everything that you need to get started. It's gonna run you about $200, and it's gonna be available on Newegg around the middle of April. So we'll go ahead and give you a link to that so you can pre-order if you want to. Very, very cool. We'd like to thank the guys over at OnLap for sending this to us. We've got some more links that we'll put in the, uh, the footer down at pocketnow.com.